What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about the Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. So the topic now is documentation. And in this uh, video, we are going to learn how to create sheets, place views on sheets, and use revisions. Okay, so let's do this. To create a sheet in Revit, so from the project browser, you just need to right-click the sheets here, this one. So just right-click and then just select uh, new sheet. Just click that one. And then you will be able to see here the families or the title blocks that is loaded inside your project. So if the title block that you would like to use is not here, but you already created that, so you just need to select load here to uh, place it here, okay, on the list. Now for this exercise, I'll be using this E130 by 42 horizontal and then I'll select here OK. There you go. Now the next thing <clears throat> that we will be doing, let's change the name. So just right click the sheet here, right click and then uh, rename. And then for the number, since this is a mechanical, so I'll just type like M101 and then for the name here, I'll type uh, ground floor HVAC and then I'll select here OK and as you can see it's now renamed here as well on our title block so it's now renamed by the way you can collapse that by doing and then you can uh, expand that by selecting the plus okay right so there's now our uh, title block here our sheet now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to place view on our sheet so to do that since we name it ground floor HVAC so we have here our ground floor HVAC plan so this is the view that we are going to place inside our sheet so to place it so you just need to drag and drop just hold your left click on the view that one and then just drag and then release your left click and then just place it nicely inside the title block so just pick and there you go and then just click outside now you will notice that going back to your project browser our ground floor HVAC plan here you see there's the box there it becomes color blue so that means this view is already inside a certain sheet or inside the sheet so as you can see the the other views here the box the square here are still white because these views are not yet inserted inside the title block but once you insert a view inside the title block it will becomes blue okay so that is an indication okay so because before on lower version it's like uh revit 2022 below there is no feature like this okay so now with Revit 2023 above, so you now have this uh, feature. All right. Now, the next thing that we will be doing, let's say, for example, my title block here, the name, the title block name, the extension line is too long. Okay, so how are you going to uh, edit or resize your extension line? So to do that, you just need to click the viewport. So this is now the viewport. Okay, so just click the viewpoint, viewport and then there's now your blue node. So you can hold your left click and then you can drag that to resize your uh, view title. All right, and then just click outside. Now, if you want to move this, the view title, so what you do, just click it directly. So just click the view title directly. Just click that and then you can use the arrow on your keyboard to move it like that and of course you can also use your mouse your left click hold your left click and then you can drag that right okay so if you are going to move the viewport so just click the viewport and then hold your left click again and if you do that the view title will move as well right okay all right Okay, then another thing that you can do here is if we are going to go to the properties. So you go to the properties, you'll be able to see here the properties of the sheet. So just make sure you don't have any selected viewport or element. So for you to be able to see the 
properties of the sheet wherein you can specify here the approved by, designed by, checked by, okay, drawn by. So these are the properties of your uh, project, okay? So same here. If you zoom in to your title block, any changes that you made here, like for example, for the drawn by, it will be reflected here on our properties. Like if I change the drawn by, I put my initial here, RG, enter, and then I'll just click outside. So you can see that it's now updated here on my properties. And of course, you can change it on my properties or the sheet property, and it will also update your title block. Okay. Now, uh, you can also select the viewport and then you can select here the type of the viewport that you would like. Okay, if you have type here, but in my case, I don't have any type of my uh, viewport here. So I can also select here edit type. Uh, let's select the viewport and then you can select edit type. So you can specify here the title of your uh, view. And you can also specify here, show title if you want. So like, for example, our title is here. So let's say you do not want that to be shown. So you have an option here to select uh, no. And then I can specify the line pattern, the color, and then the line weight. And then I'll just select OK here. And as you can see, it's now hidden. Right? OK, so... The next thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to teach you how to create uh, sheets, uh, I mean issues and revisions. Okay, so we are going to uh, create revision here. Okay, so here on my title block, there's already a revision portion here. So we just need to create some revision. So let's say, let's create one. So to do that, so I'll go to the view tab. Oops. And then let's go to the sheet composition. And then you have an option here, sheet re issues revision. So let's click this one. And then it will open up your sheet issues revision. So I have here this uh, revision by default. Okay, so that's the first one. So if you want to add more, so you just need to select uh, add here. So like, like for example, I select your add. Okay, and then you can specify here the numbering. So if you want that to be numerical or uh, alphanumeric or you don't want any numbering here. So by default, I'll just use here uh, numeric. And of course, you need to specify here the date of the revision that you are working on. Let's say, for example, okay, so I'm going to put a revision cloud on my model here. Okay, so I'm going to put a revision cloud. So I'll just do that outside the viewport. Because if you're going to double click inside the viewport, you are now inside the ground floor HVAC plan. So when you double click the viewport, it's like you also double click this one. It's the same as double clicking the ground floor HVAC floor plan and double clicking the viewport here. So that's why, let's say you want to modify your ground floor HVAC plan. So no need for you to go directly to the floor plan here, like double clicking the ground floor HVAC plan here, because you can already do that inside the sheet. So you just need to double click the viewport here to go to the floor plan. Now, we are going to place a revision cloud, but we are going to do it on our sheet. So we are not going to do that here on the floor plan. So that's why I'm going to right click and then select the activate view. Because if you double click inside the viewport, you are activating the ground floor plan or the view. So just make sure the viewport is deactivated. All right. Now let's put some uh, revision cloud. So how to put a revision cloud. So let's say, for example, I have an issue in this area here. All right. So to do that, let's go to the annotate. And then let's look for, I think it's not here. Uh -huh. Let's go to uh, view. Is it view? Uh, insert. Annotate. Oh, that one. So I'm correct the first time. So it's on annotate. So annotate. So detail panel. So there's your revision cloud. So from the properties, 
let's activate our properties before we click the revision cloud so i'm going to select revision cloud here so let's click that one and then as you can see you now have your modify create revision cloud sketch so i'll be using the rectangle here and then what is the revision that you would like to use for this one so let's say i'll use the revision one okay so i'm going to uh, draw a rectangle here like that for example i have an issue there so i pick that one so the revision that is assigned there is revision one and then i'll just select check here there you go and then i'll just click outside okay so you will now notice that the revision here is now activated so this sheet have a revision one here and it also reflects here so that's why it is important to specify the description and also the date of your revision okay i'm going to show you how to modify that so let's go to the view tab <clears throat> sheet composition so let's click the revision here so i'm gonna specify here the date so let's say the date today is like uh june 5 2023 and then the description uh design issues mechanical okay and then i'll just select your okay and it will now be reflected here right so maybe for my date instead of using a complete name complete name of the date so i'm gonna edit that so how about i'll just use like uh 06 that is the month month day and then year okay so month day and then year and then okay there you go all right so there you go so it's now added here so if i click this viewport i click this viewport you will now be able to see here the sheet name and also you can see here the view template that is assigned to that uh, particular uh, view okay to that particular viewport now if you want to change here the revision so you need to modify your uh, view here but it's already assigned you see there's already the design issues uh, mechanical uh, revision here okay so if you want to remove that so just click this one and then you can select here delete or let's say you want to change this with different revision so just click the viewport and then change here on our properties okay just make sure you select the revision cloud so let's add another uh, revision so let's go to the sheet issues revision let's add one more okay so let's say uh, the date uh, month let's say 8 uh, 23 and then my description here is uh, clash issues okay again mechanical mechanical and then i'm going to add another one okay so this is 06 uh, let's say 1523 and then this one is clash with hydraulic or let's say uh, for approval uh, mechanical all right and then i'll select here okay so let's say i want to create another revision in this area so let's go to annotate and then revision cloud rectangle okay and then i'm gonna cloud this portion here and then i'm gonna change the revision to let's say clash issues and then just check and there you go so i'm now done so there's the cloud okay and also you can merge a revision okay so you can merge a revision so let's say we're going to merge revision one and revision two okay so you can do that all right so let's do this so let's go to our view tab again and then let's select the sheet 
issues revision. So let's say for some reason you want to merge your revision uh, one and two. Okay, so I can do that by selecting merge down. Merging will modify all revision clouds of this revision. So do you want to proceed? So I can select here. Okay, there you go. So it's now uh, merge. Okay, and if I select here, okay, it will be reflected here as well on my revision uh, block on this part here. Okay, and another thing, be aware that issues revision cannot be merged or deleted. Why? Because you can already issue this uh, revision. If you check your re sheet revisions or sheet issues revision, there is an option here issued. So let's say this is already finalized, so you want that to be issued. So you just need to check that one. And then you will notice your revision one here will become like a half tone color. Okay, you cannot delete that anymore and then you cannot uh, merge that because you already issued that one. So you will not be able to delete that. So if I select here, okay. So if you click that one, so you cannot change anymore because you already issued that to your uh, to someone or to some uh, consultant or contractors so it's already issued this uh, revision okay anyway if that's just a mistake so you just need to go there and then just select again the issue to uncheck it all right okay so let's add a revision here so let's say I'll go to the annotate revision cloud so this will be for my uh, number two. So let's say uh, this portion here, I put a cloud and then I'll select OK. And there you go. All right. OK, so it's now added here. So that's the latest one. OK, so this is the oldest. This is the latest. And one more thing. So let's say, for example, the arc of your revision is too small or too big. So you can go back again to your view tab, go to your uh, revision here, sheet issues revision again. And then there's an option here, arc length. And also you can uh, customize the numbering here. So you can click that. You can customize the numbering, <coughs> the alphanumeric and numeric you can select okay so you can customize it here okay actually you can also create a new numbering sequence here and then you can edit the current uh, numbering here so let's say you want to edit the alphanumeric so you just click edit here and then you'll be able to edit here so you can specify the name and then you can customize the sequence you can even put here a prefix and suffix if you want and then custom the sequence here. And then after that, just select your OK. Right? And then just select OK. Okay, so another thing. So this um, revision that I'm using right now, so this is the numbering is per project. But actually, you can also make that per sheet if you want. Okay? So now it's telling me switching to a different revision numbering scheme potentially changes the revision numbers for all revision clouds. Do you want to continue? So you have an option. You want to do uh, yes or no. In my case, I'll just select no. So I just want uh, per project. Okay, some company they use uh, per sheet. So in, it depends on the situation. So you can select per sheet. So let's say this revision only for this uh, sheet here. The numbering is only for this sheet here. Okay, so you can select per sheet. All right, so there you have it. So that's our topic. So our topic is creating our uh, sheet, placing view, and then playing around our revision. So hopefully you learned something in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.